What's up guys, my name is Max and this is Max Works and today we are going to be going through and showing you how uh, I installed all of the water system in the base box. So we're going to cover the tank, the pump, all of the PEX lines that we run back and forth, our hot water heater, um, and how we did all the routing for the sinks and everything. So stay tuned. Okay, so water update. This is basically where the tank is going to go. Um, I may end up centering it like such so that I can mount the water filter uh, over there and then bring the line over here or maybe just rotating it sideways but I had to order a bunch of reducers this is a one inch NPT and that's a one half inch NPT and this has a valve in it so we never have to worry about vacuum pressure in the tank it's always going to self-regulate if I bring you guys over here here's our hot water heater Basically, I'm going to end up having to make a custom uh, gas line, but we decided it was probably worth the value of having this mounted high up. So I'm six foot tall, um, and you can see, so this I can get in and out of the shower. Um, I'm not going to be hitting my head, and everybody's going to be able to, you know, control this thing, you know, as needed. Um, so under here, this is your gas fitting. There's our gas fitting down there. They line up almost perfectly. So I'm going to be able to just run a, uh, a CSST line all the way down. Um, that should take care of that. These are our water lines, I believe. Let's see, what does it say? Oh, this is our inlet. This is our outlet. So we're going to have water lines to run down here, back behind the shower, all the way across. Um, and we're probably going to do something right there where it like makes an easy pass through. And then all of our water stuff is going to be over here underneath uh, the main bed. Um, and so we'll have the water pump mounted somewhere right here. And then uh, all the electronics will go right here. And this will be kind of a storage space in here um, just to keep everything nice and flush. All right. So talking about our water system, this is where our water tank is going to be mounted. Um, and in the end, I decided that we would put the water pump right here and we'll put a drain down here and then we'll just run the water lines back around. Um, I could have done this facing forward, um, but since the fill is over here, I thought, and the filter is over there, I thought we'd make it a little bit easier by turning the tank sideways. Over here, this is a standard um, 10 or 10 and a quarter inch uh, sediment filter. It's going to help make sure that, you know, if we're filling up at a campground or something and there's silt or dirt in the water, it's going to take care of stuff like that. Um, it's not a water purification thing and it has a decent amount of flow. And so the filter is here. We just screwed into the wall. Um, and then these are shark bite uh, three quarter PEX to three quarter NPT fittings. Basically from here, we'll do an elbow and it'll take us right here to the inlet of the tank. Um, this way we'll come down here and that'll be where the fill is and since we're doing a garden hose fill um, there's a certain amount of water pressure so we can run it up and fill the tank um, I made sure to upgrade everything in the fill to three quarter inch packs because we have to fill a hundred gallons of water um, but it's probably still not gonna be a super fast process now this tank if it has a hundred gallons in it will bring the total weight somewhere just shy of 900 pounds uh, water is about 8.2 uh, I think gallon or uh, pounds per gallon and this thing will actually take a little bit over a hundred gallons So call it 900 pounds call it a thousand pounds for easy arithmetic so <clears throat> firstly, it's centered mass in the best possible place in the chassis um, Which is why the battery pack is going to be down there right below it uh, as well so in order to secure this thing I built a standard stop right down here you can see um, the tank right here is flat and that's basically just going to go right there help prevent the tank from moving uh, back to front and then we built these and one of these is going to mount right here and one is going to mount over there at the same height um, and these are going to take a 10,000 pound static uh, ratchet strap now, uh, I know there's going to be a lot of people who are going to jump down my throat and say, okay, you're not really supposed to secure permanent loads with ratchet straps, blah, 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 blah. Yes and no. Um, you're really not supposed to secure permanent loads with ratchet straps, uh, but this is a 10,000 pound static strap, which means 
that at most it's handling one tenth of its working weight. And if I got to go under there every couple of weeks of use and give it an extra ratchet, that's not a really a big deal. Um, I went back and forth and thought and thought and just really short of building some sort of monstrous like steel straps um, to go around the tank. There was just no real uh, clean solution to this. And so we're going to go with ratchet straps. So made a slight alteration in the original design, painted these brackets up. So that's screwed in there. That's screwed in there. It's not touching anything. And it's going to allow us to run the strap all the way around. This thing's already pretty secure. Basically what I did was I changed the angle of the dangle on this piece a little bit, welded in a brace, painted it black, and then used this stuff. This is like, um, like a quarter inch uh, felt backing glue on piece. Put it on there and now you can see this whole thing is like really pretty tight and stable. Basically drove these two screws in at an angle, then these two vertical to lock it in. Uh, and now we're just going to slap the strap on it and this tank should be nice and secure. So there's our water tank uh, mounted and secured. I mean, this thing's not going anywhere. Basically, I put in a piece of wood right here that's flat to keep this mounted. Um, and we put in a stiffening brace up here for the wall, a stiffening brace down here for the wall. I may do one more up here. Um, the other thing I might do, I think we're going to do is I'm going to put another piece of wood on top and basically screw this down so that it can't ever go up. And I think that will about do it for securing um, the water tank. I don't think it's going anywhere. Obviously, we're going to do a number of test drives without, um, you know, all the walls and stuff. And so if I ever have a problem later on, uh, we'll go back and fix it. So have our water coming in right here garden hose adapter, three quarter inch PEX, and run it up to hither. So three quarter inch PEX coming in from the outside, the hose connector with a one way valve flowing up to our filter, flowing through our filter, through this, into the top of the tank, and nice clean water in the bottom of the tank. Um, so a quick little progress update. Um, here's our water tank it's not really mounted in right now because I gotta be able to move it around but um, here's our full water inlet system it's been tested it works uh, it's all three quarter inch pecs it's gonna come down to our pump I'm still currently missing one of the adapters it's in the mail but from here this blue line is the cold line so we have it basically stubbed out to the sink um, this is where our sink for the bathroom is gonna be if I step through this wall it's gonna be right here so that's stubbed out um, and then this is actually going to go in that corner when it's fully laid down. But here's the cold water coming into our water heater. Um, and then here's the red PEX line coming out. And so Andy and I did all of that yesterday. A huge shout out to him for coming out and helping. Um, and it's about a billion degrees outside. I overslept. Uh, so I'm just going to go until my body gives out and uh, see how much more of this stuff I can get done today. Definitely making progress on the plumbing. Um, we got our cold water coming in here, hot water. Um, it runs in the back. We have a teed off right here. This is gonna be the shower controls and then from the shower controls up to the shower. It comes down here. This is where the sink is gonna be routed in. If you come over here, um, we got our water tank fixed back up, uh, all of our water in as we had before. This is a poor man's water level. Basically, once the water reaches this level, water will come down, run through a hole in the floor, and let me know that if I'm one man filling it, that I've reached uh, kind of the limit of capacity. So again out of here you have a one and a half inch um adapter down to a half inch ball valve goes to your pump um here it runs here is our sink uh this is about where it's going to sit um up to this edge and then what i also did is i stubbed out um hot and cold water right here we're going to use this space right here to mount a uh outdoor uh shower um, which I think will probably end up being uh, pretty useful in the long run. So 
All of the water uh, is coming in nicely. Basically at this point, we just have to finish um, all of the individual connections. Uh, and so I'm gonna start working on making that a reality. So I just wanna give you guys a final walkthrough of our completed water system. Um, now all the faucets and stuff aren't put in, but all the wire, all the uh, water, excuse me, is run and roughed in. So this is where we're gonna call the uh, water video. Um, because you'll see us finish out the bathroom and finish out the kitchen uh, in later videos. And uh, as always, like I did in the gas video, I'm going to try to list out all the components we used down in the description below. Um, there are no links. Please don't ask for links. A lot of the stuff I bought, I bought off of eBay. Um, on eBay, things change all the time. I don't want to have a link that takes you to something that isn't what I bought. And yada, yada, yada. So basically, kind of use your own common sense. Uh, when you're looking for stuff and I'm gonna do my best to put all the information and the quantities of stuff I used and whatever else down in the description below. Um, as always my name is Max, this is MaxWorks. If you like this video hit the like button, if you like the channel please subscribe. If you want to see this stuff in real time check out my Instagram at MaxWorks, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all at MaxWorks. Um, and as always thank you for watching. Peace!